I mean, tell me a bit about, you. like I said, you were, you were in Iraq. You recently reported in uh, El Salvador. You covered the Ebola outbreak uh, in Africa. You know, wh what's it like going to some of these places, and, and how, do, how do you feel? Do you feel secure? How does Vice watch out for its correspondents when they're abroad? I mean, we know a lot of what's happened in Syria, but even, even in other places, it can be incredibly dangerous. Um, yeah, I feel safe for the most part. I mean, it's always, there's always moments where you're a bit doubtful or where things can get a bit hairy. Uh, and by, I mean, I, I used to be a freelancer, and I, a lot of friends just still are. And compared to the safety precautions that they get to take, I take you know, much more excessively. Um, you know, we have, we have people on standby. We have GPS trackers. We have satellite phones. Uh, there's someone checking in with me, um, depending on how intense the situation is, whether a few hours or a few days. And, and at this point, most of the people that I go with, I know our experience and have been in these situations before. Uh, and a lot of it comes down to the people that you're working with locally and whether you trust them or not. Um, and I know they, that we put them through a vetting process. Uh, and some of the hairier situations people have been in, they, they've hired you know, security contractors, people like that. To, uh, I know they did that in Afghanistan um, pretty much almost every time. So yeah, I mean, I do, I do feel relatively safe, but it's always, it's always a question. Um, but there's ways to mitigate that. You know, it's ne never like you don't run into anything headfirst. Mm -hmm. And even a really bad area, for the most part, um, can be done relatively safely.